manager or project manager or a team leader, you're going to lead very many different types of one-on-one -on -one meetings. And we'll explore a lot of them later in this program. But in this video, I want to give you a generic meeting structure that you can adapt to most types of meetings. And it's a five step structure. And the first step is rapport, because let's not forget that every meeting, whether it's one on many or one on one, is a meeting between people. And we need to re-establish the relationship we've got or build it if it's a new meeting with a new colleague. So the first step is about building rapport. And Felicity will tell you more about that in a later video. But for now, let me just highlight three components that are likely to come into the rapport building at the start of your meeting. The first is a brief catch up. And the reason we do this is to make sure that topical matters don't sidetrack us during the central part of our meeting. Related to this, sometimes you or your colleague feel the need to offload some burden that you're carrying from your previous meeting or what you've just been doing. The rapport building stage is a great way to do that, to make sure you can put that down before you start thinking about the important part of the meeting. And finally, an old sales director friend of mine gave me a very useful framework that he uses at the start of every sales meeting with an established relationship. He calls it frogs because of the five things that you could talk about just to emphasize the human contact between you and the other person. Frogs stands for friends, mutual friends that you both know. R for relatives. If you know about the family of the person you're talking with, you may inquire over their health or follow up on something that you know is happening. O stands for your organisation. Talk about what's going on in your organisation and G for geography. If you share some area of the country in common, then talking about what's happening there could be a relevant thing. And S stands for social or for some people sport. If there's been some big social event or sporting event that's happened recently, that's another great topic of conversation that just breaks the ice. The second stage of your meeting is the opening. This is where it formally starts. And there are four things to make sure you cover. First, the context or the background or the reason for the meeting. Secondly, sharing the outcomes that you both hope to achieve in your one-to-one. -one. Third, is your agenda Either confirm that you're both working to the same agenda or set out your proposals if you've not shared the agenda in advance. And finally, if appropriate, set ground rules. For most of your one-on-one -on -one meetings, this won't be necessary. The third stage of your meeting is the conversation or the series of conversations that make up the bulk of your meetings. This is where you will achieve the outcomes that you set for yourselves. Follow this by stage four, a short, succinct summary of what you've discussed, what you've agreed. And the fifth stage of your meeting is where you confirm any commitments that you've made and the actions that you plan to take, including, of course, the work you're going to do to set up the next one-on-one -on -one meeting that may follow in the series.